Scotland is suffering badly and as badly as any other place in the UK from austerity measures. Some 60,000 local authority workers eh, have lost their job. Education services for adults to try and get back into employment. Dinner ladies, lollipop ladies, all these things have been cut and cut and cut. I worry about the future um, because of the zero hour contract. Obviously finances is a problem and as a student it's just unsustainable. The trade union bill is progressing through Westminster. It will represent the biggest attack on democracy, fairness and prosperity since the days when Thatcher put power into the hands of the few at the expense of the many. They're going to cut pensions, they're going to cut public services, cut jobs and privatise services. That's the agenda that comes from a neoliberal approach to economics and filters through to our communities. One local authority alone, that's in Glasgow, this government have taken almost half a billion pounds out of the local economy and yet they try to say that they are for the common working person. Once you take the individuals away from the service, they're gone. And that pressure is then put on other people. We can't go on like this forever. We need to actually do something about it. We are here to say that this austerity measure has to stop. And if they don't change their mind, then we will change the government. Unions can and do have an exceptional role. You can help organise people to campaign against cuts. We can challenge it and we can change it. We rely on people on the ground and communities and in the workforce coming to us and telling us about the impact of austerity on them and on their communities. And the trade unions are a key part of that because they've got the finger on the pulse in terms of people in uh, different workplaces, different sectors across the country. So we are hearing from local government, we're hearing from the finance sector, we're hearing from transport, the construction industry. Unite members across all of these sectors are telling a very familiar story. They say there isn't enough money, then that's just a fallacy. We are the fourth richest nation in the world. There are other options. They can look at different priorities for government spend. It doesn't have to be that local governments are hammered to, the, to this extent. So we, as the trade union movement, have to defeat this bill. We have to defeat the austerity that goes with it. But we also have to raise the sights and raise the hopes and raise the imagination of people, of what the world can be like. Send a clear message to Cameron and the Tories that this Scottish Government will not comply with the clear attack on our people and will stand by them in defiance of this bill. By doing this, we can genuinely begin the journey towards making Scotland a fair, just and prosperous country, a shining example to the rest of the UK and a beacon of progress for the rest of the continent in this austerity era.